Ah, uh, so we've got a couple of questions here. We've got one about a job decision from Ian. He says, I'm now 63 and congratulations. And of as of July 2023, I will have worked for the local authority for 43 years. Well done you. Big decision. Do I finish early? And if I do, what will I do to occupy my time? Great question. Well, I mean, the only answer to that is who the hell knows, Ian? Who knows? I don't know. And, um, it's clear that you don't know. And I think that's fine. <laughs> I think acknowledging that we don't know is absolutely the first step. And if I were to go on reading that book, there's a little bit about not knowing there where they say not knowing, that is being willing to admit that we don't know, is one of the keys that opens the door to creative intelligence. It takes humility to open that door. Our ego doesn't like not knowing and would prefer to go over and over what we already think and believe rather than trust in a subtle unknown process like creative intelligence. But opening ourselves to the unknown is a peaceful, productive alternative to our business as usual processing mode where we pretend or hope that we know what's going on. By clearing the mind and admitting to ourselves that we don't know, we receive answers that are often brilliant, unexpected and just right for the situation. So I think step one here, Ian, is, is, is to get comfortable with not knowing. And for me, the best way to get comfortable with not knowing is, is to acknowledge what it is that doesn't know. It's simply our thought system that doesn't know because there's a whole load of unknown variables. And the sooner we stop wasting time and energy delving around inside here for answers that simply are not in here, well, already life becomes a lot easier.